All right, so it is official. I have switched over to Hyperland. So basically, I want to go over kind of how I feel about how it is right now um, in 2024. I have used Hyperland in the past, but there was still, you know, quite a few things that were kind of still buggy, um, especially since I have an NVIDIA card. So with Wayland, there were still, you know, bugs and things that were still being worked out, flickering issues and not being able to type correctly in uh, like Discord and stuff like that. So yeah, so that has been uh, fixed with the new NVIDIA drivers, um, the five, 555 uh, drivers for NVIDIA. So that seems to be fixed now. And I have been using this uh, for about a day, literally just installed it yesterday. So I can show you here. Actually, it still says OS age is uh, zero days. So I haven't even got a full 24 hours in yet. Uh, but yeah, I really think this uh, this might be what I stick with um, for quite a while. I really like the aesthetics of it. Um, it's very clean. Uh, the animations are really nice. So, you know, I can open Windows. I am a huge fan of tiling window managers. I, I did start out on BSPWM. I was actually using it on Archcraft prior to this, which is a great distro. So, you know, shout out to him for um, the Archcraft distro. I used that for quite a long time, and that was, that was really good. I, I really liked it. But slowly just getting away from X11 with, you know, Wayland and everything being, you know, much better. So yeah, I, I made the switch and all the animations are really nice. I, I did install it using this uh, dot file option here, which is through um, Prasanthran. Or is that? I don't know how to pronounce that. I believe that's a first name and a last name. I don't know where it ends and begins. Um, so I'm not going to try to butcher that. But yeah, so it was honestly a pretty easy install. Um, I was able to, what I did was just install Endeavor OS uh, with no desktop. Uh, and then by doing that, I was just, you know, presented with the, the regular terminal view and I installed using the commands here. Um, and you just go through the whole process, ask you a couple of prompts for, you know, what type of things that you want within it, what type of terminal, um, ZSH or fish and all that stuff. And you go through that and it, it takes about, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes to get to the actual, you know, desktop. I and mean, then once you're greeted at the desktop, the initial configuration is actually pretty good. They have a bunch of different, you know, themes and things that you can switch, switch between. So they have a bunch of different themes that you can switch between. All of them are slightly different in colors and like visually how things look, the round edges, borders and stuff like that. But I, I did end up choosing the default one, but I did decrease my, you know, border um, radius there. Um, I do like more of the boxier look than the rounded look. So I did decrease that myself in the um, configuration file. But, but yeah, so the... Rofi here that pops up for all of your applications. You can actually, you know, update that and, and change what that looks like. Um, so I have a very standard one there, but you can, you know, change it to pretty much any, you know, look that you want. It has uh, key bindings to change, you know, different wallpapers and stuff really just on the fly, which is really nice. And you can see all those key bindings here. And then you also can, you know, jump into the... configuration for key bindings here and I did add a couple of myself for like discord um, and telegram there and then they do have ones for you know just navigating throughout the platform as far as with your workspaces and your windows and you know shifting between everything I think everything just really really smooth I like the way it's laid out everything seems and this is actually a pretty easy configuration file to um update um i didn't have any issues like kind of you know trying to figure things out or the syntax and everything with it was you know pretty easy to understand where some can can be pretty <laughs> pretty difficult um bspwm was pretty easy too they did have some weird quirky stuff um in there as well but i i was able to configure my monitors much easier in in this than i was in um, bspwm because you can actually they have a bunch of options there, but I, I'm on a laptop for um, my Arch, and then I do have a Windows um, install on my gaming PC as well. 
so I do I'm kind of running like a two PC setup here, but I do like to have my laptop closed. Um, so I was able to disable the monitor for my laptop and then have it where lid, lid is closed, the switch is still on. So that way I'm still able to use the PC with the laptop lid closed and it doesn't suspend or, or go to sleep when the laptop lid is closed. So those are by default. So I can literally boot up and restart whatever I need. It, it's always gonna, you know, auto default back to this. So I think that was, it wasn't easy. I did have to do a little bit of research <laughs> to figure it out. But um, once I got it, it, it stuck there and it's, it's working really well. And it has inputs for, um, so if you do use, a laptop you can you know change the touchpad um whether you can like swipe between the different you know workspaces kind of like you do in like a gnome and um kde so that's really nice and then you can change like your different layouts as far as how things are split and where things go and yeah i, I really think this is a a good system i want to continue to try it out for a little while maybe make some update videos on my configuration how i have things set up uh but yeah definitely give hyperlin a try in 2024 um it's it's a good look and as you can see here the memory is actually actually pretty good i do have obs running discord uh telegram a couple of chrome browsers open and i think a couple other things i don't even know at this point but only four gigs of ram i'm running 13 percent of the 32 gigs that i have um, on the system um so it's really you know pretty lightweight and and running pretty well so uh, yeah, if you like this video, uh, please consider liking and uh, commenting below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.